It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of the striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of London, Ontario, Canada, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. for mixed martial arts tonight. This is as good an MMA setting as we have on the entire calendar, DC. I remember sitting in the back before Josh Koscheck fought George St. Pierre and thinking, wow, the Canadian fans have treated us great this week. But the moment we hit the curtain, you felt the boom. You felt that we were uninvited because they were there to cheer on their guy, George St. Pierre. But look, it's not limited to just him. They cheer all fighters in all great fights in the Bell Center. Big roundhouse now, just misses. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he switches his stance yet again. That's a big strike right there. Big knee there.
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Let it go now. Big ball for the punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Straight punch on the counter is good by Liz. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? There's no kill on that leg kick. Nice kicks there by Lee. Just missed with the leg kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch land. Throwing that jab, no good. Able to check the high kick. Just a slip there. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there, as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. <laughs> Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Beautiful strike. Real sneaky body kick. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Right hook to the body. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. That was a thudding leg kick. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Good jab. Come on now, let's shake it out. Get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. Hands high. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good stuff. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. And he landed the right hand there. What a fun. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Lee gets the takedown after catching that kick. Well played. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. 
Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Just over three minutes to go now. I mean, that right hand landed square. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Oh, nice high kick. Whoa, whoa, shit, the fight does four. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Nice one, two there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh. Whoa. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, he has really picked up the pace here. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his chin into his opponent. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice strike. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Close guard now. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Beautiful straight counter. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. 20 seconds left. his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That was a jab. How about, about those five minutes? minutes? Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. 
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaking did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see Whoa! high level. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Looping left hand misses the target. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? How about that shin? Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. You got to check these low leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with that right hook. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough kick to even be on his feet right now. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Powerful leg kick land. All right, single collar tie now. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice straight punch. by that straight punch. His defense is abandoning him tonight. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Came of inches right Damn there, boy. Yeah. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Feel good. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night. That landed. That landed. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Section, you gotta do better defensively. Back and forth we go! Good punch. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Wild attempt with the right hand there.
And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You're not defending yourself. This guy can hurt you. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Well, just... Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Good work by Lee. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Sound strike on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh! is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back to the feet now. That shot blocked by Lee. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh! He's out! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffett. At one minute, 59 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.